Chapter 13. Author's notes. Raven, thanks for gelping me again. I'm sorry I took your pushture of Gerard, but that guy is such a fucking sex bomb. Prep, stop flaming. Vampire and I ran up the stairs looking for Dumbledore. We were so scared. Dumbledore! Dumbledore! We both yelled. Dumbledore came there. What is it that you want now, you despicable snobs? He asked angrily. Voldemort has Draco! We shouted at the same time. He laughed in an evil voice. No, don't! We need to save Draco! We begged. No, he said meanly. I don't give a darn what Voldemort does to Draco. Not after how much he misbehaved in school, especially with you, Ebony, he said while he frowned looking at me. Besides, I never liked him that much anyway. <laughs> then he walked away. Vampire started crying. My Draco, he moaned. Author's note, don't you think gay guys are like so hot? It's okay, I tried to tell him, but that didn't stop him. He started to cry tears of blood. Then he had a brainstorm. I had an idea, he exclaimed. What? I asked. You'll see, he said. Then he took out his wand and did a spell. Then suddenly, we were in Voldemort's lair. We ran in with our wands out just as we heard a crude voice say, Ah, 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 cadavera. It was Voldemort's. Chapter 14. Author's note. Fuck off, preps, okay? Raven, thanks for helping again. I'm sorry I couldn't update, but I was depressed. I had to go to the hospital because I slipped my wrist. Fuck off, there's no way that's real. P.S. I'm not updating till you give me 10 good revows. Warning, some of this chapter is extremely scray. Vow a dis... <laughs> Vow a excretion. <laughs> Foul excretion is advised. We ran to where Voldemort was. It turns out that Voldemort wasn't there. Instead, the fat guy who killed Cedric was... Draco was there, crying tears of blood. Snake Tail was... Fuck off. Fuck off. This isn't real. Snake Tail... Snake Tail was torturing him. Vampire and I ran in front of Snake Tail. Right to my sight, you despicable preps! He shouted as we started shooting him with the gun. He then suddenly looked at me and he fell down with a lovely dying look in his eyes. He said... Full stop, he said. In this, he is 16 years old, so he is not a paedophile, okay? Because <laughs> that's important. Huh? I asked. Enerby, I love you. Will you have sex with me? Asked Snaketail. And I started laughing crudely. What the fuck? You torture my BF that expect me to fuck you? God, you are so fucked up, you fucking bastard. I said angrily, then I stabbed him in the heart. But I'd poured out of it like a fountain. No, he screamed. He started screaming and running around. Then he fell down and died. I brushed into tears sadly. Snake tail, what art are thou doing? <laughs> Called Voldemort. Then he started coming. We could hear his high heels clacking to us. So we got our broomsticks and we flew to Hogwarts. We went to my room. Vampire went away. There I started crying. What's wrong, honey? Asked Draco, taking off his clothes so we could screw. He had a sex pack. Get it? Because he's so sexy. And a really huge, you know what? and everything. It's so unfair, I yielded. Why can't I just be ugly or plain like all the other girls and preps here except for bloody Mary, cause she's not ugly or anything. Why would you want to be ugly? I don't like the preps anyway, they're such fucking sluts, answered Draco. Yeah, but everyone is in love with me. Like Snape and Lupin took a video of me naked. Hargrid says he's in love with me. Vampire likes me and now even Snaketail is in love with me. I just want to be of you, okay Draco? Why can't Satan have made me? Less beautiful. Why can Satan have made me less beautiful? I shouted angrily. And don't worry, Enemy isn't a snob or anything, but a lot of people have told her she's pretty. I'm good at too many things. Why can't I just be normal? It's a fucking curse. I shouted, and then I ran away. Chapter 15. Author's note. Stop flamming, okay? By the way, you suck. From no one, every time someone flams me, I'm gonna slit my wrists. Thanks to Raven for helping. Ebony, Ebony, shouted Draco sadly. No, please come back. But I was too mad. 
whatever. Now you can go have sex with vampire, I shouted. I stormed into my room and closed my black door with my blood red key. It had a picture of Marilyn Manson on it. He looked so sexy in a way that reminded me of Draco and Vampire. I started to cry and weep. I took a razor and started to slit my wrists. I drank the blood all depressed. Then I looked at my black good Charlotte watch and noticed it was time to go to biology class. I put on a short ripped black gothic dress that said anarchy on the front in blood red letters and was all ripped in a spiky belt. Under that I put on ripped black fishnets and boots that said Joel all over them with blood red letters. I put my ebony black hair out. Anyway, I went downstairs feeling all sad and depressed as usual. I did some advanced biology work. I was turning a bloody pentagram into a black guitar. Suddenly the guitar turned into Draco. Enemy, I love you, he shouted sadly. I don't care what those fuckers, preps and posers think. You're the most beautiful girl in the world. Before I met you, I used to want to commit suicide all the time. No, that's only some of the time. No, I just want to fucking be with you. I fucking love you. Then he started to sing Da Chronicles of Life and Death. We considered it our song now because we fell in love when Joel was singing it. Right in front of the entire class. His singing voice was so amazing and gothic and sexy, like a cross between Gerard, Joel, Chester, Pierre and Marilyn Manson. Author's note, don't you think those guys are so hot? If you don't know who they are, then get the fuck out of here. OMFG, I said after he was finished. Some fucking prep stared at us, but I just stuck my middle fingers that were covered in black nail polish and were intertwined with Draco's now at them. I love you, I said. And then we started to kiss, just like Hilary Duff. I fucking hate that bitch. And CMM in... Chad Michael Murray in a Cinderella story. Then we started holding hands. Lupin shouted at us, but he stopped because everyone was clapping by how sexy we looked together. And then they grew up to be Albert Einstein. Then I saw a poster saying that MCR would have a co concert at Hogsmeade right then. We looked at each other all shocked that we went together. Chapter 16. Author's note. You know what? Shut up, okay? Prove to me you're not preps. Raven, you suck, you fucking bitch. Give me back my fucking swits. You're supposed to write this. Raven, what the fuck, you bitch? You're supposed to do this. By the way, thanks to Brittany5665... Wait, no. Brittany5655 for teching my Japanese. Oh. Oh, I can't fucking wait. We ran happily to Hogsmeade. There we saw the stage where GC had played. We ran in happily. MCR were there playing Helena. I was so fucking happy. Gerard looked even sexier than he did in the pictures. Even Draco thought so. I could totally see him getting an erection. But it didn't matter because I knew now that we were the only ones for each other. I was wearing a black leather mini dress and black leather platinum boots with red <laughs> ripped fishnets. Draco was wearing a black baggy MCR t-shirt and black baggy pants. Anyway, we started moshing to Helena. We Frenched. We ran up to the front of this band to stage dive. Suddenly, Gerard pulled off his mask. So did the others. We gasped. It wasn't them at all. It was Volsimore and the Deaf Dealers. What the fuck, Draco? I'm not going to a concert with you. I shouted angrily. Not after what happened to me last time, even if it's MCR and you know how much I like them. What? Because we, you know, he gadgeted uncomfortably because guys don't like to talk about you know what. Yeah, because we, you know, I yielded in an angry voice. We won't do that again, Draco promised. This time we're going with an escort. Oh, MFG, what the fuck? Are you giving into the mainstream? I asked. So I guess you're a prep or a Christina or what now? No, he muttered loudly. Are you becoming a prep or what? I shouted angrily. Enemy, I'm not. Please come with me. He fell down to his knees and started singing The World is Black by GC to me. I was flattened. <laughs> Because that's not even a single. He had memorised the lyrics just for me. Okay, then I guess I'll have to, I said. And then we were French for a bit and I went up to my room. Bloody Mary was there. Hajime mashte, girl, she said happily. She specs Japanese, so do I. That means how do you do in Japanese. My inner weeb is quaking right now. BTW, Willow, that fucking prosa, got expelled. She failed all her classes and she skipped math. A.N. Raven, you fucking suck. Fuck you. It serves that fucking bit right, I laughed angrily. Well, anyway, we were feeling all depressed. We watched some gothic movies like Das Nightmare before Christmas. Maybe Willow will die too, I said. 
kawaii, bloody Mary shook her head energetically, lethargically. Oh yeah, oh have a confession after she got expelled, I murdered her and then Lupin did it with her because he's a ne ne nephilac. Kawaii, I commented happily. We talked to each other in silence for the rest of the movie. Oh hey, BTW, I'm going to a concert with Draco tonight in Hogsmeade with MCR, I said. I need to wear, like, the hot set outfit ever. But Bloody Mary nodded energetically. Oh my OMG, totally, let's go shopping. In Hot Topic, right? I asked, already getting out my special Hot Topic loyalty guard, Cardi. No, my head snaked up. What? My head spoon. I could not believe it. Bloody Mary, are you a prep? No, no, she laughed. I found some cool gothic stores near Hogwarts, that's all. Who told you about them? I asked, oh, sure it'd be Draco or Diablo or Vampire. Don't even say that nam to me. Or me. Dumbledore, she said. Let me just call our Broms. OMFG, Dumbledore, I asked quietly. Yeah, I saw the back for Hobsmead on his desk, she told me. Come on, let's go. We were going in a few punk off punk off stores, especially for the concert in Hogsmeade. This salesperson was OMG hotter than Gerard, except not because that's impossible. <laughs> that's how I talk. And he gave me a few dresses. We only have these for the real goths. The real goths, me and Bloody Mary asked. Yeah, you won't believe how many poses there are in this town, man. Yesterday, Lupin and Snap tried to buy a gothic camera pouch. He shook his head. I didn't even know they had a camera. Oh, my gee, no, they're gonna spy on me again. I cried, running to get out of the changing room, wearing a long black dress with lots of red tulle coming out of it and very low cut with a huge slit. Oh my Satan, you have to buy that outfit, my salesperson said. Yeah, it looks totally hot, said Bloody Mary. You know what, I'm going to give it to you for free because you look really hot in that outfit. Hey, you going to be at the concert tonight, he asked. Yeah, I am actually. I looked at him. Hey, BCW, my name's Ebony Darkness Dementia Tara Way. What's yours? Tom Ridd, he said, and ran a hair for his black... Tom Ridd and ran a hair for his black... <sighs> Why can't I say that? Tom Ridd, he said, and ran a hand for his black dyed hair. Maybe I'll see you there tonight. Yeah, I don't think so, because I'm going there with my BF Draco, you sick perv. I yelled angrily, but before he could beg me to go with him, hair grid flew in on his black broom, looking worried. OMFG, MW, you need to get oot, back to the castle now. Chapter 7. Author's note. I said stop flaming, da story. If you're not a prep, then do not rid it. You can tell whether you are a prep or not by my quiz. It's on my home page. God, I wish that was still up. If you're not dead, you rock. If you are dead, fuck off. P.S. Willow isn't really a prep. Raven, please do this. I promise to give you back your poster. Tom Riddle gave us some clothes and stuff for free. He said he would help us with makeup if we wanted because he was really into fashion and stuff. He's bisexual. Hagrid kept shooting us to come back to Hogwarts. What the fuck, Hagrid? I shouted angrily. Fuck off, you fucking bastard. Anyway, Willow came. Hagrid went away angrily. Hey, bitch, you look kawaii, she said. Yeah, a bitch, but not as kawaii as you. I answered sadly, because Willow's really pretty and everything. She was wearing a black short corset thingy with red... Blood red. This is every outfit they wear. Blood red lace on and a black blood red mini skirt, leather fishnets, and black pointy boots that showed off how pale she was. She had a really nice body with big boobs and everything. She was thin enough to be anorexic. So are you going to the concert with Draco? She asked. Yeah, I said happily. I'm gong with Diablo. She answered happily. Well, anyway, Draco and Diablo came. They were both looking extremely hot and sexy. You could tell they thought we were old too. Diablo was wearing a black t-shirt that said 666 on it. He was wearing tons of makeup, just like Marilyn Manson. Draco was wearing black leather pants, a gothic black Good Charlotte t-shirt, and black vans he got from the Warp Tower. <laughs> Bloody Mart was... <laughs> it's like Kmart, but full of blood. Was going to the concert with Dracola. Dracola used to be called Naval, but it turned out he was... Neville. Oh, never! what did they do to you? Turns out he was kidnapped at birth and his real family were vampires and he went goth. He was in Slytherin now. He was wearing a black warps t-shirt, black jeans and shoes and black hair with red streaks in it. We called him Dracula now. Well, anyway, we all went to Pacheco's Black Mercy Benz, get it? Because we were gothic. That his dad Lucian gave him. We did pot, crack and coke. Did I write this? Draco and I made out. We made fun of those stupid fucking reps. We soon got there. I gapsed. 
Gerard was the sexiest guy ever. He looked even sexier than he did in pics. He had long raven black hair and amazing piercing blue eyes. <laughs> I didn't even say amazing, I just put that in there. My, uh, my subconscious just put that in there because I love Gerard. He was really skinny and he had an amazing ethnic voice. We mushed the Helena in some other songs. Suddenly Gerard pulled off his mask. So did the other members. I gasped. It wasn't Gerard at all. It was an ugly preppy man with no nose and red eyes. Everyone ran away but me and Draco. Draco and I came. It was Vladimir and the Death Dealers. You moronic idiots, he shooted angstily. Enemy, I told you to kill the vampire. Thou have failed, and now I shall kill thou and Draco. No, no, please, we begged sadly, but he took out his knife. Suddenly, a gothic old man flew in on his broomstick. He had long black hair and a long black beard. He was wearing a black robe that said Avril Lavigne on the back. He shot a spell and Voldemort ran away. It was Dumbledore. And that's all the segment we're doing today. If you enjoyed this video, do remember to like, comment, subscribe. I make new videos whenever I feel like it. I will continue doing this for the foreseeable future until we get to the bitter end. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.